Hey guys, it is me, Happy Sorry, and welcome back to Last Night Survival. So today we're gonna continue clearing one of my new favorite locations in the game, which is the transport hub. That transport hub has lots of awesome resources there. It's not an extremely difficult place to clear. It is somewhat unique, and in that place you can get such resources as these copper wires, and these are like level four or maybe level three, level four resources from the settlement. You can get some rubber hoses, you can get some probably aluminum wires, and yeah, you can also get iron rods required to finish this mission that you can see. Oh no, it's not here. But yeah, there's a mission where we have to assemble some sort of a radio tower thing in the in the swamp location. So those iron rods are going to be very useful because I haven't unlocked these resources yet myself in the settlement. So we can get that stuff from the transport hub. But before we start getting those uh, resources from the transport hub. Let's take here a quick, quick shower. And while we're taking the shower, welcome to all those that have just joined to the stream. Glad to see all of you here. And if you're watching this live stream after it's over, then head to the pinned comments down below. There are going to be timestamps and you can navigate uh, through those timestamps to your favorite parts of the video, right? Like us doing raids, us clearing that transport hub, us killing the miner because we're going to be fighting that miner boss today. And uh, yeah, uh, without any further ado, let's probably get ready to that transport hub without wasting any time because usually we clear we clear that transport time uh, Transport hub a little bit later, but we're gonna start clearing it right now Plus we have this arena event, which is probably one of the better events in the game as from this arena event we can get a uh, Two actually not a but we can get two files with rare blueprints so we can get two purple mods And yeah, I think it's kind of nice if you don't need purple blueprints Then obviously that arena event is pretty useless, but if you want it then it's a really, really, really great event. So I'll probably get here a few shotguns. I will get a few AKs. I will get a few equalizers because they're going to be useful to fight the boss. And I think that's enough loot. I think that is actually enough loot, at least for now. Let's get some first aid kits. Maybe I should get more guns. You know what? Let's get maybe one more weapon. Right? There we go, guys. Let's get one more weapon and then we will get ready for that uh, transport hub. We will set off to the transport hub. But before we do that, as I said, we got to get enough weapons. Uh, there we go. I'll get two of these guys. And I think it's more than enough right now. I don't have any pistols. Maybe we don't need those pistols. Um, I'll take this one to break it fully. And that is it. Let's take another set of armor. This armor. And then maybe let's take one more. If I have one more SWAT armor, I'll take it. Because I think I'd like to take that SWAT armor while fighting the minor boss. As that guy does lots of damage, so it's always nice to get that. And maybe, just maybe, I will get a reanimator. Where is it? There we go. Let's get that reanimator. Maybe I shouldn't even get that to fight the miner. I don't even know why I'm taking it. I should not have taken that. I regret taking it. Because for the past few times when I fought that miner, I kept using that reanimator. But I should not have used it here right now. Whatever. Who cares? Welcome to those that have just joined. And uh, time for us to go and fight the miner. Let's do it. Let's do it. Take hazmat suit for a challenge. I mean, how is that a challenge? Excuse me? A hazmat suit for a challenge. Uh, where are my first aid kits? Here they are. I knew that we still have them. There we go. Let's get some more of them. Let's get maybe a stack of beans or a stack of carrots. Probably take a stack of jerky. And we are ready. Ladies and gentlemen, say a buckle up, buckaroos, and let's go now to the transport hub. Let's up on the chopper, and let's go to the transport hub. Will we get the forklift today? I mean, as I said, we're probably not getting the forklift, as we're going to get probably the substation first, as it'll be probably more worth it than the forklift, to be honest. But I don't know, we'll see. We will see. Let's take a sip of water. Uh, rest up event. I'd like to go to the rest up event before we go to the bunker. Uh, before we go to that place. Ah, let's go for it. Let's go for it. Rest up event. I mean, that thing, whatever it's called, the transport hub will always stay there, right? It's not going to disappear, but the rest up event will disappear. So let's go quickly to the rest up event. Let's quickly clear that place. Let's get some free loot. And then we can go to the transport hub. I can't miss the rest up event. It's like... It's basically free loot here. One bunker sub uh, suburbs. Yes, a new bunker in the suburbs. The suburbs bunker. Maybe. I don't know when that thing's gonna come out. If we ever even gonna get that. But I'm gonna stay here now in the corner. I'll wait until they start shooting each other there. 
There you go, that worked. That worked perfectly. And there is one more guy. That's a got all of them. Nobody's here. No loot here. Nothing useful here. And only two for uh, two bandages. Well, okay, sometimes they drop more loot. But it's okay, whatever they've dropped. I don't mind that. Some more iron. Let's not forget about the aluminum wires. So if I get the aluminum wires here, I'll definitely pick them up. Because now I need those aluminum wires in order to... Uh, get more aluminum cables. There we go. Silent northern part noises. New locations coming, but no northern parts improve and importance increased. What? They must make it more useful. I mean, you can get their copper. I guess that's pretty much it. We don't need anything else. Oh, the red tickets. Oh, I got the two. We, we need to take those two red tickets, obviously. But how am I going to take them? I need to drop some stuff in the chopper then. Let's drop a stack of that. I will get the red tickets. And check this out. I can do like this. And I can drop this weapon and this first aid kit. There we go. Everything's kind of sorted out. Now we can go to the transport hub safely. But maybe before we go to the transport hub, as I said, we need to probably go back to the base. And I need to get those aluminum wires. I mean, you can get 10 aluminum wires from 20 aluminum bars. So we should do that. So we should do it real quick. When was the last time you went to the north for copper? I can't even remember. I mean... I don't really go to stone locations either. So, yeah. These locations should have something better. Like, I I really wish we had a northern bunker. It would be cool if we had a winter bunker or something. Maybe that'd be great. I don't know. We should definitely have, like, some sort of a special location here. Because we only unlock oak. I mean, once I unlock those locations, I definitely grinded there. I have farmed a lot of oak. In order to build level 3 walls when that place and those walls came out. No, when we had those walls, we didn't really need oak. Which I think we just needed bricks and uh, normal planks. But then they upgraded those level 3 walls. They upgraded the requirements. And then we needed oak, I guess. Well, in any case. Uh, I'm not going to do anything too much in that settlement. As that'll take too much time. But all I'm going to do... Is get stack of that. And that's it. Like, I, I don't need to do anything else. I'll just get that. I'll just start... Uh, smashing those... Aluminum bars into aluminum wires. And remove frozen uh, zombies from regular bunkers. Yeah. I do agree with that. Because for no reason we have frozen zombies everywhere. I see your point, mate. I totally see your point. Okay, let's go over here. We have gotten four of those aluminum cables. Bloody lovely. But where do I get aluminum wires? There we go. I'll add 20 more. So let's get that. Time for us to go now to that settlement. Took us quite a while to prepare for it, but we did it. They fixed the glitch. Now we can only go with guns. Brr. I don't understand the question, but hey, welcome to the stream. Back then it was pretty hard to get oak, but now it's much easier. I think it's the same to get oak. I mean, before if you didn't have the if you didn't have the oak location, you had to farm oak through red forest zones, I guess. But now it's if you have the chopper, you can just get oak. I didn't get the chopper with me to this transport hub for some reason. Whatever, let's go and food then. We don't need a chopper. We should visit one of these northern locations because I haven't been there in months, maybe in half a year. Actually, I don't even know when was the last time that I visited these locations. Maybe even a year ago. It's seriously been such a long time ago and I didn't take a drone. No! Guys, why do I always forget my drone? Now we have to go back to the base. Why do I always forget about a drone? But thank you, Ethan S. Travel. Thank you for reminding about the drone. And I see lots of you in the comments reminding me that I've forgotten to take a drone. I'm sorry. I have no idea where I've forgotten my drone. I'll take it. I'll take it. Since Christmas, what is Christmas? Christmas, you mean? 
But it's been a really long time since I've visited a northern location. Like, it's- it's- it's been a really, really, really long time. Maybe even two years. Like, I- I don't even remember. I can't even recall the last time that I visited it. I only remember once we went there and I found, like, some sort of a tank there during a live stream. That's all I remember, but that was probably, like, two years ago. And I came back here for... 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 for the drone. Ladies and gentlemen, let's take the drone. And also, speaking of the drone, Look at the drone as if it's a vehicle. I think I've already uh, said that. But yeah, look at the drone if it's, as if it's a vehicle. And that vehicle unlocks a new location for you. And that new location being Transport Hub. And the Transport Hub is pretty decent. I like it. So you know what? This update definitely gets my approval. We haven't gotten many of these updates that would get my approval. A lot of updates were like kind of meh. But yeah, this is definitely like easy. Top 5, like easy. Without even thinking the like easy. Top 5 best updates we've had in the game. It's a great update. I like it. We have a drone here. And I'm ready to go. It's not great because of a drone. Drone is like a bonus. I think drone is pretty garbage. If they've just added the drone and nothing else, then it'd be like, meh. I like the transport hub for what it is. It does give lots of resources. But yeah. But hey, let's take a sip of water. Only other update with Sykes approval was the Bravo. I mean, Bunker Bravo was cool because we've got an ATV and lots of other new locations, but it doesn't mean that Bunker Bravo is perfect. Which this location isn't perfect as well. Loot is awesome too. Yes, exactly. I mean, this place is just about the loot. If it had garbage loot, this location would be like 2 out of 10. Max. Tops. Like, th this location would suck bad. It'd be horrible. Whoa, did you see the lag here? Oh my god, so I get a new computer! So yeah, this location would be would be horrible. If it didn't have good loot, it would be horrible. Just as every other location. If we would have bad loot, it'd be horrible. So yeah, this location is great because of the loot, in my humble opinion. All right, let's deal with some more of these fast riders. Let's loot this place. Let's shred all of them. Okay, yeah, another zombie's gonna stand up. At least there is no true friend type of attributes needed to take it with us. Imagine a drone flying only in your base and doing noises. I don't understand the the comment, but I totally agree with you. Absolutely right. Or I don't agree with you if it's a bad thing to agree with. I don't know, whatever makes sense. Yeah. The fact that you need the ATV to continue with the storyline this early is a huge L. We don't really know that yet, honestly. Like, I don't think you need your ATV to continue with the storyline. I don't think you'll require to assemble those three towers to continue with the storyline. If that's true, then that's sad. Like, if that's true and if you need ATV that early on, like, to access Act 3, then it is pretty bad. But I hope that's not the case. I really hope that's not the case. It might be the case, though, but I really hope it's not the case. Let's go outside. Somebody in the comments saying, yes, you need... You don't know that, man. It's... We don't know that. As we don't have Act 3, so we don't know what's going to happen with Act 3. So saying that we need the thing for the Swamp Tower, but we don't have the Act 3 yet. We don't really know if we need that Swamp Tower. As I said, for me, I have to go to the Swamp Tower. Unless they've changed something. Wait, let's go to the Act 2. It says already completed, right? Act 2 is already completed. And in Act 2, it doesn't say... That I need to complete here a tower or something. It's just for the drone mods and other stuff. But it doesn't tell me that I have to do it for Act 2. Like those... Again, I might be wrong. Like, nobody knows what's up. That's what I'm saying. We can't say anything for sure yet. But I'm just saying that we might not need that watchtower for the Act 3. Maybe it's just for the drone. Oops. So, yeah, we don't know that yet, for sure. Mm. 
but if Act 3 is in the suburbs, right? Because it looks like after you assemble those tower things, you get the suburbs. And uh, Act 2 kind of ends... Uh, speaking about New Eden, right? I have no clue whether there is connection between the officer's missing daughter and the people from New Eden or not. What does Rust have to do with all of this, right? So they're talking about New Eden. And if Act 3 is about New Eden and New Eden is kind of the suburbs, then... Yes, we'll probably need the ATV for that, and that's kind of sad. I'm hoping that we don't need the ATV. That's all I'm saying here. I hope that we don't need the ATV. That's it. I don't know if we need it or we don't need it. We can only speculate. Because, yes, if we need the ATV for Act 3, then it's... That's a huge L. That's horrible. But I'm like 70% certain that we actually probably need the ATV for Act 3. I'm just trying to stay positive and think about rainbows and flowers. But yeah, we probably have to have the ATV for Act 3. Oops, I didn't mean to do this. I used the wrong button on the drone. How many of you have wasted drone's battery just like that to open up a crate? I can't be the only one. Like, I'm sure at least there is one... Uh, there is at least one person that has wasted that battery as well. Can't be the only one. Okay, let's go over here. You will need the copter for Act 3. The copter? The copter? What's a copter? Zero times because no drones yet. Okay, but I'm sure somebody must have done something. Uh, let's get a new armor and let's descend here lower. So yeah, to be honest, I mean, I'm not going to say that Act 3... If Act 3 requires ATV, I don't think it's going to kill the game, but... Is definitely going to be a step in the in a wrong direction because unlocking your ATV is really hard. And Act Two, like finishing Act Two, is pretty easy. Like you can do it really early on. You need to assemble some stuff in the settlement, blah blah. But it is still doable. But if Act Three requires ATV, then that's it. A lot of people will never be able to assemble it. Oops. 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 Took the wrong gun. Okay, now I just need to go around here. There we go, I did it. I did it. Say, so yeah, it'll be really sad. Which again, for me, I will be able to participate in that act, act 3, but it doesn't mean that it's good, as a lot of other people won't be able to participate in it. And I feel like a lot of people might quit last on Earth because of that. As getting a ATV is really hard, unless they add some more ways to get ATV parts. These guys are not gonna drop their shields, will they? Look at this, they're stupid! I can't believe this. I will get my drone here. Maybe the drone's gonna help me out a bit. There we go, I got it. Drone did nothing, but whatever. Uh, some catalyst, some drone parts, and the rest. I don't even know if this can be sent to the VAP. Okay, that could be sent to the VAP. Let's get rid of this armor so that we have more storage. Let's... Oh, this time electricity is over here. Sometimes it's there, but this time it was moved to this spot. Okay. The drone offers little to no help. Yep, I agree. Drone is pretty useless. I'd actually like to ask you guys, what do you think about these drones? Do you like them? Do you think they're great? How would you rate the drone? Maybe once you upgrade them, they'll be better, but like to upgrade them, you need to play the game for a really long time. Like it's, it's not like ATV hard because 
to build this workbench, which one is it? Like the drone upgrade workbench. There you go. This workbench is, is almost as hard as the ATV. Probably, like, easier. Obviously, it's easier than the ATV, but it's probably the second hardest item to assemble in the game after the ATV, I guess. The drone upgrade workbench. Is it takes lots of grind, I assume. So, maybe no. Maybe it's easier. I know, I don't remember, actually. Maybe I'm just speaking nonsense here. I know. Well, in any case, that workbench is pretty hard to assemble. That's... That's not a wrong thing to say. But it is pretty hard, actually. I think you need, like, those some sort of metal hinges and whatnot, and they're pretty hard to get, so... Yeah, it is gonna take a while to do it. Uh, wait, guys. There's one thing that we need to do. There's one thing that we need to do. Uh... Una momento. Oh my god, Tyke, what's going on? Don't fret. Everything's coming. And... That's it, we did it, ladies and gents. Let's get back to the game, I'm sorry. Took us quite a while to do it, but we did it. Let's see, so this one is done. We need to now jump down. I think we can jump down from over here. Oh, and here we can scan another crate. That's the second crate. Bloody lovely. Let's do it. Let's just do it. During chapter one, while you're asked to look around the gas station, there's an NP NPC repairing the ATV. And he says, once I repair this, you'll be able to go anywhere. Maybe. But I guess it's just a random thing to say. Because it's an ATV. And you can go anywhere with the ATV. Alrighty, let's go up. So there are these guys. I will get this weapon, I will get this weapon. I'm absolutely ready. I'm just gonna drop down, and uh, I will open up this door. There we go, guys. So yeah, thanks for leaving those comments. Okay, we dealt with that toxic darter. So now I can just run around this thing and fight these carrions over here. Which is definitely better than fighting them inside of that hangar or whatever that is. There we go, got him. Destroyed them. No, it's not random, it's a hint. <laughs> Guys, what are we talking about? The dude said a random thing that once you assemble ATV, you'll be able to go anywhere. It's just a random thing. What do you mean you'll be able to go anywhere? It's an ATV. It goes anywhere. That's it. You can't swim across the map with the ATV. You're not going to be able to get to the to the oil rig with the ATV. So it's just a random thing to say. Because it, it, it says like, hey, an ATV is a cool vehicle. It can bring you to lots of places. It doesn't mean that... I don't even know what we're talking about here. What it's supposed to mean. What you guys think it's supposed to mean. But in any case... Doesn't matter. I still cannot assemble that thing because we don't have the aluminum wires. One day we'll get them. Aluminum cables, aluminum wires. They're cables, not wires. And there's another box that I want to loot. Uh, probably I'll have to go around this. It's not a random thing to say. I'm on my way to Bunker Charlie with the ATV right now. Says Renny. Totally agree with you. I apologize. It's totally not a random thing to say that ATV can take you to to whatever place you want. Okay, let's go over here. And there's one more crate that we need to scan here. Is it a good crate? I don't know. I don't think we've gotten a good settlement crate today as well, so kind of garbage crates, to be honest. So I couldn't check the book for Act 3 and Act 4. There is no books. Books. 
this they're not here the book <laughs> books I will get those anti-red pills. Why not? Don't really need them. As we are already done with our ATV, but whatever. Let's get it. And it's time for us to go and fight the boss, ladies and gentlemen. But before we do this, we need to loot this truck first. Over here. Open the gun crates for the memes. I don't really understand what kind of a meme is that. I'm kind of sad. Like, some of your memes, guys, are pretty bad. So, I wish you to find better memes. Because if those are the memes... Like, if it's a meme to open a gun crate for some reason... Then you should find better memes. Actually, we'll see what kind of crate we open up. Maybe I'll open up a gun crate for the memes. Oh, let's get that shotgun. There we go. Got him. And time for us to fight the miner. Every time I... I all the time open up that crate up the top. I want to know if the miner is... Where's the miner? Because I constantly open up the crate up here, and every time I get the miner there. Maybe you always get the miner no matter what. Like, miner will spawn... I don't know where's the miner, I don't see it. Maybe it doesn't matter which crate I open up, and miner's everywhere. Maybe. Well, in any case, let's deal with the sailor. Uh, let's get the epic boss fighting music. And let's deal with that miner, ladies and gentlemen. And Spanish or Vanish. Thank you for the super chat. Thanks, mate. <laughs> welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. Okay, let's get the weapons. Uh, and let's open up the crate over here, like the first crate. Miner? No, that's not the miner. That's a fast biter. It's just a random fast biter. And there was something there. I obtained an item. I have no idea what kind of an item is that. Though. A guitar! Alright. Can I open this one up? There's a butcher. Bruh! I did not sign up for the butcher. There are these turkeys. I'm stunned. Okay, these turkeys can actually stun me. Unbelievable. Maybe I shouldn't use these weapons. I want to get my shotgun, idiot! Okay, so yeah, those turkeys can definitely stun me if they touch me. So that's not good. If the next update developers will remove this forklift. I hope they don't because it's it at least makes bosses... Uh, more interesting. Without that fork, there's nothing. You just run around and shoot. Stop it, stupid turkey! Butcher, huh? Oh no. Oh no. No, what happened? Where did the butcher go? He went to eat. The butcher went to feast. Okay, I have no idea what's going on. But I am going for it. I have no idea what happened to the boss. The dude is just stuck. I mean, easy W. Easy clap, ladies and gentlemen. Destroyed. Annihilated. And we got a terminal card. What? 
So we didn't have to fight the miner. It wasn't even a miner. So you either get a miner or a butcher here. This was the first time that I've gotten a butcher. And butcher is much easier than the miner. Do we get a miner here as well? No, we don't. Wow, that was easy. Easy clap. Easy clap, ladies and gentlemen. This was actually easier boss than the miner. I'm telling you. No, Waltrix, nothing. The forklift. We don't use Waltrix here. We use forklifts. Actually, we're done. Wait, we don't need... We no longer need that boss fighting music here. We did it. Can go back to calm... Stuff here. Let's load this echo crate. Uh, why do I need this crossbow? Can somebody explain that to me? Way easier. Yeah, yeah, this guy's a lot easier than the miner. And he still gives the same terminal card, which is pretty cool. Miner is hard, butcher is easy. With that forklift thing, you can kill the miner as well. Last time we killed the miner, like in a snap of a finger too, so it's... It is doable. I think we got in some more notes here. The building next door turned out to have a workshop. We brought planks and tables here. Jack tried to think of something that would help us get the boxes under the ceiling in the storehouse. But every time he would just freak out and smash the tables. What's his obsession with those boxes? We'd rather have assembling weapons. We'd rather have he was assembling weapons. Okay. Whatever. Understandable. Have a nice day. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for us to open up a crate here. It's time for us to get some loot. Are you ready? Are you ready? Have you buckled up, ladies and gentlemen? Because I have. A TV part crate, so no further uh, negotiation. Nah, mate. Stop it. Actually, these crates are pretty goop. So I've never opened up this crate before. I don't even know if it's worth it, but you can get here dry food, and I really don't want it. I've opened up this crate before. And I've already opened up this crate as well. Like, we can get some police department loot and we can get here some of that stuff. Actually, I don't need any of these crates. I think these crates are actually... This crate will actually be better than this crate. I can make a poll, guys, where you can decide which crate I should open up. This poll will last... I don't know, maybe for a minute. The second crate or third crate. Second... Third. There we go, guys. There is the poll. So you can decide between the second and the third crate. Actually, the second crate can give me uh, zombie truck parts, too. So I know both of them are all right. Like, I don't mind if they go 50 50 because both of them are kind of all right. First crate for the record. For the what? I mean, I don't want this crate. Like, it's, it's garbage. It's. Bleh. Third crate wins. Yeah, definitely third crate wins. We already have here almost 200 votes and the third crate has 75% of all the votes. So that's probably what we'll have to do. Can you save the key and open, and open multiple ones? I don't think so because that's it. This thing gets stuck. So I don't think you can open up multiple crates. What would be cool though is if we assembled that truck though. But I still can't get it. I don't have enough wire. So I can't open up the fourth crate, guys. Say it won, guys. Yeah, the third crate won. You absolutely won. So let's open up, guys, the third crate over here. Bam. It just drops. What do we get, ladies and gentlemen? A purple card. I'd love to get a purple card. Purple card, purple card. We've gotten titanium and five green cards. A grenade launcher and... Four guns with a grenade launcher. You know what? I'm glad that I got this crate instead of the other crate. At least it's decent. We've got an eight steel, four carbon composites. For what we had to do here, it's profit. It's profit. Like, really, for what we have to do, it's it's easy profit. That one boomer. Oh my god, look, it's Kevlar armor. Stop it. Get some help. Okay, so we need to bring all of this loot back to the base somehow, some way. And I don't really have a lot of space. So yeah, this this crate is worth it. Yeah, this crate is worth it. So as I said, you, you probably can never go wrong. If you need different resources, such as settlement resources, then go for the second crate, as it's not bad either. But you cannot go wrong with guns. Just take the gun crate and it'll be fine as well. Third is worse than second. That's subjective. It depends. Okay, let's drop the... 
guns here so they can easily sort out the chopper here. And let's get the rest of the loot. But I don't think I'll be able to get the rest of the loot. We'll have to come back here to get more. So it was pretty good. Like, this crate is good. Like, I like it. Again, it's nothing crazy, but it's it's good. It's a good crate. It's totally a great crate. Like, it gets my approval. I need to bring these armors back to the base somehow, some way. I'll have to come back here again. I'll have to do it. The first time Star Snipe opened it, he's gotten a purple card in an MGL. Yeah, getting a purple card there is like... That'd be crazy. Like, you get a purple card, you already get four guns there. Plus a purple blueprint. Plus you also get your four guns. Like, yeah, that'd be great to get a purple card. But, I mean, we've gotten five green. I mean, which is not even comparable. Five green to one purple. But it's it's not a bad crate anyways. Without the purple card, it's good as well. The purple card makes it even better. But even without the purple card, it's decent. But it's nice that sometimes you can get something better. I like that the loot is all the time not the same. I think this... Those crates get a W for that. And armor says Trifold. Yes, we also get some armor because Bunker Alpha is great, but most of the time... That's why Bunker Alpha is cool. You always, like, get basically the same loot. You'll always get, like, four guns and, like, the same armor. You don't really get any any unique loot, so every time you open up a crate, it doesn't really matter what you get there. But in the, in the transport hub, you do get kind of different loot. Sometimes you get that. Sometimes you get other crates. I like it. It's, it's okay. It's not bad. That's all I'm saying. It is not bad. Um, ladies and gentlemen, let's try to quickly sort out the inventory and let's go back. Let's get the rest of the armor and then we need to probably go to the VAP and empty that VAP truck. Right? How about we do that? Why do I have this stupid guitar? Say, don't delete it. It's too late. I accidentally deleted it. That's it. I don't even know why I brought it back to the base. I don't have space for it. Um, let's drop that, the titanium, the grenade launcher, and some guns. Why do I have this stupid crossbow? Oh my god, sake, don't! It's too late, it's gone. It is just too late. No, oh, guitar had 500 MGLs inside of it. Will you grind the settlement? That's a, such a stupid question. I don't even know where to begin answering it. What do you mean grind the settlement? What do you mean by grinding the settlement? What is the definition of grinding the settlement? It grinds my gears when people say, Psych, will you grind the settlement? Like, I play in the settlement, yes. But what does it mean grinding the settlement? It's not like I can go now in the settlement and do something there. You need to wait. I don't know for what. You just need resources. There's nothing to grind in the settlement. Probably grinds my gear because I can't answer that question because I don't know what what does it mean to grind in the settlement. Yo, Fernie95, thanks for being a member. Thank you, thank you, thank you for smashing the join button, Fernie95. Welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. But yeah, I do play in the settlement. We do try to progress in that settlement little by little. Grinding the settlement obviously means making it sharper, says Dimitris. Yes, I apologize for being an idiot. I apologize. When you guys sometimes feel feel useless, remember that I have a door here, right? Remember that I built a door here and a door here and a door here. So, yeah. There we go. How about my jokes? My jokes are getting better and better. I'm telling you, I should be a comedian. Okay, I think it's time for us to go back to that settlement. Let's bring the rest of the armors or whatever else we got to bring there. And again, to those that didn't understand the joke, those doors, I did not build those doors. I had those doors since the... for a few years now. As I kind of started building this base, I started upgrading it little by little, and I had to have those doors there. And they just stayed. Those doors just stayed. 
So I'm not gonna delete them. The jug was so good, the door opened by itself. Yes, indeed. Absolutely. My downfall has started after Sayak changed his base layout. What is that supposed to mean? Just turn around the chest and you can open up those doors, don't it? I don't want to open up those doors. It, uh... <sighs> I'll be polite and I won't answer anything. My base is like yours, but with no partitions or in or walls inside. Yeah, I mean, I just had the wall, had those walls since the beginning of the game. I really don't want to delete them, like those doors, for example. So that is pretty much it. Okay, let's get the rest of the loot. And that is it. Let's bring that stuff back to the base, ladies and gentlemen. It is supposed to mean that his downfall started after you changed your base layout. <sighs> okay. What is that supposed to mean? His downfall started. Like, how my base layout uh, affected him. Why did his downfall start? What, did he lose his job because I changed my layout? I don't get it. I don't understand. I'm a little bit confused. But I still got the spirit. Yo, Ferdinand95, thanks for leaving a message here. Welcome today. I hope in Transport Hub uh, will be chest with true friend Doggo to use him more. Hmm, I see what you mean. A chest that we could open up with a true friend Doggo. That's totally... That's a, that's a great idea, actually, Fernie. Thanks for being a member, and that's a great idea. We should definitely get more crates like that. So that true friend Doggo becomes more useful. Because right now, like, everybody wants to get him, but it's useless. Like, everybody wants to get that true friend Doggo, but it's useless. So if more places had crates that we could open up with true friend dogs, it'd be a lot better. The true friend dogs would be more useful. I, I approve this message. I approve this idea. Alrighty, let's drop that over here. Would you have so many broken MGLs? Because you can repair them. And once you repair them, you can uh, use them again. Where is scum? There will be more scum. Don't worry about it. Don't fret. Oh my god, Tarka was scared. Don't be scared. Why did I take duct tape? Okay, so I quickly want to go to the settlement. And I still didn't even get the daily loot from the settlement. Disgusting. Let's get the iron, the planks. I was terrified, says the Minecrafter. Yeah, I, w I would be terrified too. If I didn't know what's gonna happen with Scum Survival, I'd be terrified as well. But no worries, there'll be more Scum Survival. The next episode is coming soon. We've done lots of progress there, but I don't want to spoiler anything, so. That's it. Okay, we got this, this, this. Uh, maybe I'm gonna get some aluminum. Just because, why not? Rusty engine equals eight aluminum wires. Easy aluminum. No, that's not easy aluminum. One uh, rusty engine... Is not easy aluminum wires. Totally. That's the opposite of easy aluminum wires. That's like probably the hardest way to get those aluminum wires. If I was only picking up those aluminum wires for the past like five years, I'd have like racks of them. Um, Let's go over here. Let's actually get the daily loot. Ladies and gentlemen, expeditions. Daily loot. Got it. We got some more screws. And other stuff. I wish we were getting maybe more of those rubber hoses or more aluminum wires or something, but we don't. Two recyclers equals 16 aluminum. I mean, how do you get so many of those rusty engines? It's not like they're everywhere. They're pretty hard to find. Uh, 
Okay, can't even get more of those things because I don't have enough aluminum wires. We can get a bunch of that stuff from Bunker Alpha. Also, hopefully from raids. I never really paid attention on how many aluminum wires we can get from raids. You get them easy from highway. What? Guess where we're going now, ladies and gentlemen. I'm actually going to the highway right now. Like, no joke. No joke. Thank you for grinding the settlement, says Rudy Alejos. Thank you, mate. Thank you for the super chat. And yeah, we've just grinded the settlement, ladies and gentlemen. Speaking of grinding the settlement, how about we try to do one more? I'm not going to do any expeditions because I'll fail there. I won't even try it. Let's skedaddle. Like, every time I'm here, I want to try one expedition, but we'll just fail there as I've already reached the limit. We need to upgrade a lot. Oh, no, I should have opened up mercenary contracts. More Planet of the Apes soon. There will be more Ancestors, the Humankind Odyssey, but I think I'll do live streams on it. I don't think there will be more videos. I'll do live streams. Because those videos take an insane amount of time to make. And Rudy Alejos. Alejos? I think it's Alejos. If I had that surname, I'd want it to be Alejos. So, Rudy, if it's pronounced Rudy Alejos, start pronouncing it Rudy Alejos. Because it's supposed to be Rudy Alejos. But yeah, thanks, mate. For the super chat. All jokes aside, thanks, mate. And uh, yeah, let's open up a few mercenaries here. We got six of those quick draw stripes and four diehard stripes. Okay. Nothing we can do with these stripes. Yeah, that monkey game is very interesting. Yes, it's very cool, but yeah, it does take lots of time to to make. As the game is like pretty slow-ish and I don't really know a lot about it. And yeah, it takes lots of takes lots of time. And those videos don't really perform that well, so I'd rather do a live stream on it than put like insane amount of work in the videos that nobody will watch anyway, so I'd rather do a live stream. At least I can do like maybe five hour live stream, so. Yeah, when I'm ready to do a five or six hour live stream, maybe I'll play some of those ancestors. Alejos, you are right. Nice pronunciation, says Rudy Alejos. Thank you, mate. I guessed it. I knew it. I knew it. I have some of that Spanish blood in me. No, I probably don't. I probably don't. Not probably, but I'm sure I don't. But hey. It is what it is. Did you check the new event today? What do you think about it? The arena event or the dog breeder event? Which event? We are going to do the... Arena event today, I guess. I mean, we should do it. Like, it's... We always do it. We always do that arena event. I didn't even set up the settlement. I brought these planks and other things to the settlement. I'm not going for it. That's it. Forget it. Bunker Bravo event for beginners is easier. Isn't it... Do we have Bunker Bravo event? Oh, we have it, but it's gonna start today? What? We should go to Bunker Bravo event then. I didn't know that it's... that it's on. Oh, I didn't even know that we have a Bunker Bravo event. We should definitely do it. But yeah, first of all, let's go to the highway. Let's go to the highway, and then from the highway, we'll maybe go to Bunker Bravo. Why not? Like, I mean, we haven't done it in... in about three days, so let's go there. It's like, let's grind Bravo. Yes, that's what we'll do. That's what we will do, ladies and gents. There we go, we got stuff. Just with Glocks, that'll be the... Test. I think I said last time that I'll try to clear Bunker Bravo with just Glocks. If it's possible. But do we really have to clear it with just Glocks? I mean, we could try it. It'll be more fun. Yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll probably try to clear with just Glocks. With fully modded Glocks? Probably. Bravo with only zip guns. I'm in time for some Bunker Bravo run. It says Ash Ketchup. Welcome, mate, to the stream. Um... 
There we go. We are currently going to the gas station as there. I've gotten a comment that you can get aluminum wires from the highway. I mean, maybe you can, maybe you cannot. I have no idea. I want to check it out. Plus, we need spark plugs anyway, so I might as well just get them. Where's your ATV? It's collecting dust at the base. Psych exposed the comment. What is that supposed to mean? I don't want to expose anything. You can make aluminum wires at the settlement super easy. Yeah, I think we already had that topic last time. Uh, you can only get 10 aluminum wires. Because we only have one workbench, so I need to log in every... Like, what, two or something hours? I don't know. I'm not gonna set alarms during the night to wake up and get more aluminum wires from aluminum bars. Aluminum wires? Nope. But yeah, we still can get them. We can get aluminum wires. It's not like they're extremely hard to get. And I had a lot of them. We used up lots of them during, like, that Echo event. I used up, like, hundreds of them during the Echo event building walls. Building traps, actually. So, yeah. Nothing. Bruh. Bro, you should start making iodine at home. Why? We need it for the settlement. We could do it. Bunker Alpha gives a lot of aluminum wires. Yes, Bunker Alpha gives a lot of aluminum wires. But I mean, I don't really go there now. Unless Raiders ask me like to go and clear the fourth floor, then I'll go for it. I have a bunch of crates. I have green and yellow crates. But I think we get aluminum wires just from Bunker Alpha without opening green and yellow crates. Or do we also get aluminum wires from, open up, from opening up green and yellow and red crates? I think we'll need to go to Bunker Alpha and do like some sort of a crate opening because I have lots of spare green, yellow, and red tickets. So we might do that as well. But we also need to clear Bunker Bravo. And Bunker Bravo sadly gives no aluminum wires. <gasps> if that's a rusty engine, we can recycle it at the base. I'm recycling it. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll, recy I'll recycle this engine. I'll need to bring it to the chopper first though. First Alpha, then Bravo. We'll see. Echo event removed. Yeah, we haven't gotten that Echo event in a really long time. It's from both opening crates and from normal loot boxes. Understandable. I mean, we're not going to go through the second and fourth and second whatever floor in Bunker Alpha. But we will open up green and yellow crates because we have an abundance of those tickets. So I might as well just open this stuff up. What's going on with the back today? Just sit! I don't get it, ladies and gentlemen. The bag hurts. At 26 years old, and the bag hurts. What's gonna happen when I'm 27? What'll happen when I'm 30? I have no idea. And I'm not too excited to find out. Can I? No, I didn't mean to leave that. I thought we can go around it. Whatever, let's go back to the highway. Chill out, Sykes, says the Minecraft. Don't you dare to tell me what to do. It'll still hurt just more. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Eat your microphone. What? You'll be pronounced oldest man when you're 30. Okay, iodine is used for drone upgrades. I'm never gonna get to those drone upgrades. Need over 60 for them. Might be good to get started. Yeah, I'll probably get started on those iodine things. But, yeah, I don't think I'll ever be able to upgrade those drones as... Yeah. I don't have that workbench. Whoa, do more backflips. Nah, it's too late. I can't even stand up for backflips. Okay. 
Did you finish college? Well, I didn't, but I know that you say, did you finish, not did you finish. Oh! It's fine, guys. Let's get that all from here. I got zero aluminum wires. I got bamboozled here. So I could get lots of aluminum wires from the highway. I got zero. In total, I got zero. I got at least two of these spark plugs, but still zero aluminum wires. Unbelievable. Try to hang on something to stretch your back. Okay. Zero wires, the comment was a troll. Maybe there w you can sometimes get wires, but not all the time. <sighs> it's fine. Whatever, let's get back to the base. And uh, let's go to Bunker Alpha and let's open up green, yellow, and red crates. Just like that, with no work at all. We're just gonna bring loot back to the base. Probably before we do this... Oh, no, I didn't mean to go back to the base. We're, we're going back to the gas station. You might be like, psych, why? We gotta go back to the gas station. Can we even get aluminum wires? It doesn't even say it's possible to get aluminum wires, but maybe it doesn't show all the loot. In any case, I want to go back here and we have that VAP crate and I want it... I need to sort it out, so we're going to do it live, ladies and gentlemen. Sorting out the crate. Only here, only right now. So buckle up, buckaroos. And let's go for it. Guys, do you think this dude finished college? Exactly. Guys, do you think I would finish college? If I finished college, do I think I'd be playing last on Earth here right now? Didn't think so. For a second, I even forgot why I came here. Okay. Deliver my supplies back to the base. Our people are preparing the goods for transportation. Okay. That, uh, that's exactly what I do at Alpha always. Thousands of tickets from raids. Yes, indeed. I didn't finish college. College finished me. He has a last on Earth PhD. Uh. <laughs> Why? Uh, who needs college when you can evolve from monkey in a PC game? That's true. That is absolutely true. Uh, let's drop the... the thing is here. I don't know what I dropped here. There we go, I wanna drop this, and there was something else I wanted to do. I'll go to Bunker Alpha, guys, I'm sorry, like, my last brain cell is working hard. But... It's not enough. Survival's game, uh, survival games PhD to be precise. Speaking of survival games, I've gotten a comment like two days ago. Somebody's uh, under the monkey game video, under the ancestors, the humankind Odyssey video. It's a survival game, right? Except you play as a monkey and somebody left a comment. Oh, I didn't expect that you'd, that you'd play this genre of a game. I'm like, what do you mean this genre of a game? Like 99% of the games that we play here on the channel are survival games. So I was kind of confused, but it is what it is. Okay, I'm gonna drop this engine over here. Wait, I have more engines at the base! What? Guys, I got more engines. I got more engines. If I don't get seven aluminum wires... I'll never trust you guys again. That's it, we are recycling this thing here right now. Let's see what we can get. Ooh. Eight aluminum wires. We actually got that. That is pretty decent. Did you even get wires? No, I didn't get them. I opened Bud Alpha crates. I got 14 aluminum wires. Again, guys, those aluminum wires are not hard to get. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, they're pretty easy to get. But as I said, I've just stopped collecting them for years. Like, for the past probably four years, I haven't picked up a single aluminum wire to the base. Like, whatever I've picked up, like, in the first year, I didn't get any more aluminum wires. So, they lasted me for four years. Like, one year of picking up aluminum wires lasted me for four years. Hey, wait, I came back here again. I forgot what I'm doing. 
<sighs> oh. And you see, I knew where I'm going. Like, I knew that I gotta go that way. But I forgot why. I'm gonna bring one more of those. Oh, I don't even have more engines. I just have this normal engine. So how about I get it and I try to recycle it? Will I get aluminum wires from this non-rusty engine? Highway has two engines, but it's so slow to carry them. Wait, there's another engine? I'll bring it back to the base. And we also need to get iodine pills. Yes, we're gonna work towards that. Somebody make fu made fun of me. I think it was Matthew Spellman. Made fun of me that I mispronounced iodine. That's how you say it. After the live stream, I've done some research. That's how people say iodine. That's how you say it. What do you mean I'm saying it incorrectly? Stupid. We're probably gonna get nothing. No! No aluminum wires. We only get aluminum bars from it. Only one aluminum bar! From recycling that entire engine, we've gotten only one aluminum bar. That's That, that definitely has to be changed. <laughs> Matthew Spellman says that it's Aodina. Yes, it's, it's Aodina. It's iodine. Not Aodina. I would never mock you. Iodine, you're saying it correctly. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Iodinium. <laughs> Iodina. Iodinium. Guys, I apologize for not saying it correctly. And again, I'm forgetting what I'm doing. I want to go there. I want to go there. I want to check the chat. I want to talk to you guys. And at the same time, I don't know what I'm doing even. So there is one more engine. But is there one more engine at the highway? I've only seen one. There are no two engines at the highway. Is there the second engine? Can somebody else confirm that there's the second engine at the highway? Because I don't really want to go there right now and waste our time. But if there's a second one, I will go get it. Oh, and there's the VIP chest that we also need to sort it out, guys. You're geniuses. Okay, so a lot of people are saying no, no. A lot of people, aka okay, two people, okay, three people, four people, five people, six people. Okay, so more and more people are saying no. Okay, a wall of no's. Okay, so we no need to go, guys, for the second engine then. Okay. Roger that. Maybe let's not delete these scrap metals. What if one day they become useful? Hmm? Iodina. Craft iodine. Guys, we will do it. No worries, we will do it. The last brain cell. The last brain cell on Earth. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Am I crazy? I thought there were two, but maybe I'm thinking of the car with two doors to open. I'm ashamed. It's fine, don't be ashamed. Be sorry. I'm kidding. No need to be sorry. I'm just kidding. It's fine. Apologizium. No, guys, don't need to apologize. It's fine. We all make mistakes. I'll drop aluminum here. There we go. Crazium. Yes. Is there anything else that can give us aluminum for recycling? What else could we recycle to get aluminum? Psych, you were ignoring aluminum wires. And now you're paranoid every trash item will be useful. I know! I know. It, it'll it be like that. Stupid drone. Takes space, takes everything. Stay here and charge. Beer cans. No, they just give aluminum. They don't give aluminum wires. Yeah, they just give probably aluminum wires. Yeah, that gives nothing. Blech. Oh yeah, we needed to sort out the chest there. The VIP storage chest. Delete your drone when? I don't think even it makes sense to delete it. I don't think it even it's even possible to delete that drone. Okay, we've gotten a stock here. It's already... Used. Okay, let's take this. <sighs> Look at all the scoop! I 
I don't even know how I'm gonna sort all of that stuff out. But I'm doing it. It's useful. Yeah, that's why it was sent to the stores there. I didn't want to delete it. But like, look at all that. I'll store plastic here. Why not? I have these chests. I might as well just store something. Sorting simulator 2017, 2077. Whatever, guys. We're almost done sorting it out, actually. You know that you can turn normal aluminum into wire from in the settlement. It says Lino WZ. If I got one cent for every comment that told me that, I'd have now three cents. Thank you. Thank you. But yeah, you, it takes a long time and you can only get 10 aluminum wires. As I said, it's not that hard to get it. You can't get it. But it just takes time. Where do I drop glass? You know what? I'll just drop it here. Whatever. I'm just going for it, ladies and gentlemen. Why well, didn't drop the fragments there? Mr. Syracium, I got Spreadshot. Wel welcome. Try USB for wires. I doubt it. I doubt that it'll work. Um. Okay. Guys, we're almost done sorting out the inventory. You thought that it'll take us forever. Like, I'm almost already done. And I'm not even kidding. If you combine three logs, you will not get aluminum wires. You will get a spear. Good enough. That's a good tip and trick. You cannot get aluminum wires from wood. If you guys need any other tips and tricks, let me know. That's it. We have sorted it out. I mean, I seriously thought it'll take us more time. But we we're almost done already. I'll drop these things. Oh, I got six aluminum wires from somewhere. Don't even know where, but I got them. I got them. That's it. We did it. Absolutely beautiful. Let's drop the white paint. And now we have, guys, another adventure to go on. We have to go to Bunker Alpha. We have to open up a red crate. We have to open up a yellow crate and a green crate. Let's go. And, yeah, let's get rid of this armor set. So this way we can bring more loot. Are you ready, ladies and gentlemen, for some epic crate opening? Twenty, twenty-five, and 30 tickets. Uh, maybe let's just actually... It's fine, I'll leave those tickets in Bunker Alpha then later on. Okay, you know what? Let's just take the, the right amount of tickets. That'll be better. There we go, 30. We need 20 of these. And uh, we need 25 of these tickets. Oh, that's it. Of course. Thirty, thirty-five, and forty. Stop it. I might be stupid, but I'm not an idiot. How do you have so many red tickets? I don't open up red crates. I just save the red tickets. Because they don't really need the loot from the red crates anyway, so I just saved them up. The smarter. Let's try to drink some more water. 
and I'll need the password to Bunker Alpha. First of all, guys, you can get the password to Bunker Alpha and other things and chat about Last and Earth and other cool things on our Discord server. Discord.gg slash happy link is down in the description or, or, there's no or. But yeah, guys, you can give the password now in the chat because I could go on Discord and get the password there myself. But as I said, I want you guys to be useful. So share the password, please. Thank you. I see again some fake passwords, so... I'll need to wait until people share the real password. It'll be probably faster if I just go on Google, on Discord and I get it myself. Okay, so I got the one nine six nine nine seven. That worked! Thank you, guys! Thank you, thank you. I saw a lot of you sharing fake passwords, but... Hey, nice try. Nice try. I don't know how to search it on Discord. I couldn't find it. On Discord, there in the on the left section, there are bunker alpha passwords section there, and you can find it. We are not useful, says Pink Lady. What do you mean you're not useful? I'm saying that you're useful. That's where you guys share passwords. I am a bloody genius. So if somebody ever tells you that you're not useful, you can tell them that, hey, I gave Happy Cyric pass uh, Bunker Alpha password. And then be like, I apologize. That's it. I did it. You can put that in your resume. Yeah, I'm, th I'm thinking about the future. I'm thinking about all of you guys. The best streamer ever. Do other streamers think about you? No, they don't. Do I think about you guys? All the time. So let's open up the green crate. We have gotten three aluminum wires. Decent. Pretty bloody decent. Let's get this stuff. The rest will probably stay here as I don't need anything. Let's get the nails. Why not? Okay, let's get this armor real quick. And Sip, thanks for the super chat. Welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. I will get the truck wheel. Don't really know if I need it, but I got it. And we got some more wires. We got 14 aluminum wires. Not too crazy. We can also get more, obviously, through this entire bunker alpha. But that's okay. For the beginning, that is all right. Okay, let's get this. Let's try to go up. Let's try to leave some stuff in the chopper. And let's get the rest of the loot. Okay, I'll just do it before more people spam that comment. There we go. Specialist, take the blueprint. Thank you. Thank you, Psych. You're welcome, guys. You're welcome. Three wires. Woohoo! I mean, it's 14 wires. It's not too much, but as I said, that's like, that's a lot of wires. Kinda, when you think about it. If you play this game constantly, like, you can get lots of aluminum wires. They're not that rare. As I said, I just never picked them up because I never needed them. Maybe I have some wires here in Bunker Alpha. Like a chest of them. I probably doubt that though. Nope, we just had we just have some extra armor. Mm. Gasolinium. And let's drop this wheel over here. Don't know if I want it, but I dropped it. And let's get the rest of the loot. So we have gotten now over 20 aluminum wires just like that. Not too shabby. Can we get aluminum wires from the motel? I doubt it though. I really, really doubt it. Hey brother, do you play handheld consoles? If yes, what genre you're playing especially for classic classic handheld games? I don't own a handheld. Never had one. 
I mean, I had Tetris. Does that count as a handheld? But I had it a long time ago. I know there are like those Steam decks and other stuff, but I don't have them. Hmm. That's it. We did it. We sorted out these chests. We get 500 wires from Motel. Okay. Go blue box, go, go, go. What blue box? That's it, I've sorted out the, the loot. I got everything we need to get. Let's bring that stuff back to the base now. A farm box. The farm box has aluminum wires. It probably does when I think about it, it probably does. I can see those aluminum wires in that blue box at the farm. I think so. Also, guys, I wanted to go to the... What are the place? Sewers, right? I wanted to go to the sewers. Maybe the sewers have... Aluminum wires. Do we get aluminum wires here? It doesn't really look like it. Hmm. Motel. No aluminum wires. Farm location. Oh, we do get aluminum wires from the farm location, so probably the blue box is worth it at the farm. Fight the blind one for additional 10 red. Now nah, we got other things to do. We're going farming, boys, says the Minecrafter. Maybe I wanted to clear the Bunker Bravo today, but I'd be clearing it just for fun. But we actually can clear places that'll give me loot, aka aluminum wires. So maybe I should do those places instead, because Bunker Alpha is not going to give me anything. Right? Where's the helmet? I lost the helmet. No, I'm going to get that helmet from the inbox. That's it. I'm doing it. And nobody can stop me. I'll get the SWAT helmet and I can drop it over here. It's either that or I delete the entire site. So we have gotten 28 aluminum wires. Just like that. From recycling that engine and some other garbage. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Do you have any fingers for the other chest? Oh, don't think so. Does that chest have aluminum wires? Because maybe I have a finger to open up that chest, but... I don't know if it gives aluminum wires. Okay, let's drop more nails, more nails, more aluminum. Why do we need aluminum wires? To craft aluminum cables at the settlement. You need hoses and aluminum wires for it. Okay, let's drop some engines. Let's drop that stuff over here. And ladies and gentlemen, we have sorted out the inventory. Beautiful. Maybe let's go for a raid. We haven't raided today. I haven't even thought about raids, so... We should probably raid. Let's see what kind of tasks we need to do. We need to kill three bulls at the farm! <claps> Bloody lovely. Then we need to kill Colonel at the factory and kill the blind one. I mean, let's go. Let's do these tasks. And let's go for the raid. Let's go for it. There's this, this. Mm, that's way too many weapons. That is way too many guns. Plus we have the arena that I haven't even done yet. Maybe today will be the first time when I don't do that arena. Maybe I won't even do the arena today. We'll see. Like, we never know. Kind of unstable, you know? 
Dude, this is so awesome to upgrade all of these guns just with a snap of a finger with two clicks. It is... feels illegal. You have tons of wires in the inbox. Now I only have one. I saw M16 Bravo event. Maybe we'll do Bravo event as well. There are some things to do today, like, surprisingly. Usually we don't have what to do, but today there is lots of things that we could do. So I don't know what we'll do. I need to start using bandages instead of first aid kits. I never use bandages. Three clicks, you have to close as well. Okay, three clicks. I know, we have guns. Uh, we'll sort it out later. That'll be the future Cyrix problem. Oh my goodness, I am the future Cyrix. It's like, how can you stack more than 20 items? You need to upgrade the racks and then you can stack more than 20 items. Bandages are better than medkits. Nah. But Cyric, will you grind the settlement, says DA? Maybe. Will I grind the settlement? Psych, why don't you drink water? Because then I'll pee. So to not pee, I just eat. I just overeat. Genius. But I've seen hundreds of wires like three years ago. I have seen... I've used all of those wires for the Echo event, as I said. We had hundreds of wires, but I used up all of them for that Echo event. How can you stack more than 20 items? I've just literally answered your question, mate! You can upgrade the racks and then you can store more than 20 items. I've answered the question already. I did it. I answered it. Bloodhound is sometimes scary. What? You can create wires in the settlement, right, Sasquasm? Yes, you can create wires in the settlement. Yes. So yeah, welcome to the farm location. We're gonna clear this place real quick. We will open up the blue crate. Maybe we'll get some wires. Why not? Plus, we are getting ready for the raid. And to raid, we need to kill three bulls. So let's just... Uh, go for it. Let's go. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. I'm absolutely ready. Yeah, we have Glocks. That's enough. Again, that's not how you clear the farm location. If you want to know how to clear the farm location, just check out. Just go on YouTube and type uh, LDOE Cyric farm location or Cyric farm location and that thing should appear. The videos on how to clear that farm location efficiently. Basically, just wall check them, them, them here on this wall. That's it. Why are you getting those wires? As I said, I need those wires to craft uh, aluminum cables. And I need those aluminum cables to assemble lots of things. Forklifts. You need that stuff to assemble the substation at the settlement. You need aluminum cables to assemble... Lots of things. And yeah, I don't have a lot of aluminum wires. So that's why I am collecting them. Oh my god, Tyrek, your phone is beeping! Guys, it wasn't my phone, it was your phone. Check it. How many of you looked at your phone and thought that it was your phone? I should have maybe waited a bit. I am curious. Stop it! Oh no, these dudes appeared out of nowhere. So, how many of you guys thought that it's your phone? Me, I did. Yes! I bamboozled you! Well, my phone bamboozled you. Nice. So some of you thought that it's your phone. Do be like that. I mean, sometimes it does work. Sometimes I watch a a, a a podcast or something and it'll beep there. And I'm like, wait, what? Is that my phone? Sometimes I'll get bamboozled as well, guys. So you're not the only ones that get bamboozled. You do be like that. But that's it, guys. I muted the phone. So no worries. It won't beep again. 
Don't worry. Not me, I'm on PC. I mean, you are in PC, but what if your phone beeped? Still can be beeping. Bruh, sometimes the savage giants just walk out of the map. Is it a glitch or some mechanism? <laughs> I don't know if that's a mechanism, mate. I don't know. Maybe I'm not a developer. I don't know if it was intended to be a mechanism or not. Maybe. My phone is always in silent grade since seventh grade. My phone is on silent mode only when I go to sleep. During the day, I kind of keep it on. Because then it's kind of pointless. Why would I need the phone? Kinda. Maybe. Depends. All of my apps are on silent mode all the time. Like, I only have a few apps that I use to talk to my family, and those ones are open. Except during the night. During the night, everything's muted. Revenger time. Yes, indeed, ladies and gentlemen, we are fighting the Revenger. Oh my goodness, I can't find it. Where's the thing? There we go. For a second, you were getting brainwashed into thinking that this is a Ravager. No, this is a Revenger. Revenger real quick. Can you give gift things in last and earth? Said the guy one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine times in the chat. Uh no. And even if I could, you wouldn't get nothing. Other people would. But you wouldn't get anything. Capish? Are we on the same page, mate? Do you feel me, homie? Oh, we just dealt with a Revenger. We need to delete that. There we go. Boom. Revenger is gone. He will get revenge on you because of how you call him. Just wait. Uh, okay. He'll show up at my base. Okay, let's get the right Yoko and I'm ready to open up the blue box. Every Avenger show up at my bed. Hell yeah. So we've we've dealt with one bull, we need two more bulls. There's got to be one more bull here on this side. There we go. That's the third one. By the time that bull does the animation of him, like... Shaking his head. We can kill him. Yeah, we can kill him by the time he does that animation. Bull should drop some leather. Yeah, I mean, bull should definitely drop something. It's sad that they don't drop anything. It's, they're weird. These are bulls. They should be fast, right? I guess so, but they're very slow. They're one of the slowest, actually, enemies in the game. Which is what? They have lots of health and they drop nothing. Like, kind of... Excuse me, bro. Is that a joke? Probably it is. For no reason, bulls drop, like, grenade launchers 
Hey case, why not? Psych base redesign, please. Nah, guys, we're not redesigning the base. Stop it. You know what? I'm gonna get that wrench. I don't know why I need it, but I will get it. I don't know why I want it, but what if one day it becomes useful, so I will get that wrench. What if we need those wrenches for the settlement? Hmm. Everything's possible. Can you get wires in the sacks? That's a good question. I wanted to ask you guys that, but... I guess I'll have to answer it myself. Actually, I'll kill all of these riding yokels and seven giants anyway. So I could have just opened up that blue box. And then went for those sacks. Shoot! My character stopped shooting. Sometimes, says Quasim. Okay. It's not like you have over 100 wrenches at the base. I don't know if I have over 100 wrenches at the base, to be honest. Nope. No wires. Unbelievable. There we go. Let's start opening up that blue box. Let's prep the shotgun. And Kaden Z2 Cool, thanks for the super chat. Thoughts on Brutalizer? I don't know, Brutalizer like Brutalizer. I don't kind of have any thoughts on it. Thoughts on Brutalizer? I don't know. It's a weapon. It's brutal. That's it. For those who don't know, you can get the Brutalizer when you have BAP. You can get it for one hour and it... It has basically infinite durability for one hour. And you can get it once a day when you have the AP. That's pretty much it. Any aluminum wires here? Three aluminum wires! That's it! That's disgusting! Like, legit disgusting. <sighs> well, I'm ready to bring the rest of... The I'm ready to go back to the base. I'm ready to bring myself back to the base. How to get VAP, you have to buy things in the game. You need Bunker Alpha, yes indeed. It seems like the farm stopped dropping purple mods. I mean, it was always very rare to get a purple mod from the farm. Uh, machete, it's fine, we have enough machetes at the base. It's okay. It is all right. Okay, let's go back to the base here. Three extremely rare weapon blueprints. Ladies and gentlemen, let's open it up. Are you ready? Buckaroos, are you ready? Because I am. Let's get three of them. And let's see what we can get here. A This one, this one, and this one. And we had all of them. The revolvers, the silencers, and the large magazines. <sighs> Disappointment is immeasurable and my day's been ruined. For those who didn't know, I need only one more blueprint for the machete and that's it. And Zipran Parachi, thank you for the super chat. Sorry for butchered the name. Welcome, welcome. Hello, welcome. And Caden Z to cool says hi. Welcome, mate. Hello. Uh, now, what other things we need to do? We need to go and fight the blind one. I can do it. Then we need to kill the colonel. I can do it. Let's do it. Ladies and gentlemen, let's do it. Life? No, it's not. The game isn't called Life is Strange. How is that game called? I don't even know. The gun that speaks. Speaking gun. 
And one of those guns says, let's do it all the time. Uh, high on life? I think that's what it's called. I think it's called high on life. Well, you guys will confirm. Okay, we have 31 wires. Yes, high on life. Yes! I wasn't wrong. Rick and Morty game, yes. <laughs> Rick and Morty game. This goes there. Okay, so we gotta go for the blind one now. Let's not waste any more time. Let's just buck her up, buck her up, buck her lose. Let's go. We won't clear the full floor. But we will clear some of it. A shotgun. I rarely use miniguns. Maybe we should use more of them. My boss just gave me raw tuna and avocado for lunch and I tried it. I'm going to cook it for dinner after work. Bruh. That's great. That sounds that sounds delicious. No, it doesn't. But again, I only eat French fries and chicken nuggies. So what would I know about food, right? That's it. I got everything there is to get. I got the loot. Let's go now to the fourth floor, ladies and gents. Let's go for it. Oh, finger. We also got to get the finger. Bring the finger. Okay, guys, I'll bring the finger. I'll bring it. I'll bring it. I'll bring it. Kate and Z took cool. Pick a number. One to ten. I don't know. Seven. Pick the number. Thanks, mate, for the super chat. I don't know why we got to pick numbers. But we picked a number. And uh, I got to get the finger, guys. I'm sure I have a finger. Where's the finger? Oh, there we go, guys. We got two fingers, even. Holy moly! <laughs> guys! This guy can't be real! I can't do it! I can't handle it! The guy- the- the dude that we just banned, like, a second ago- well, muted. A second ago. For spamming some weir weird comment, right? I didn't ban them, I just muted them so that all the messages disappear. And the dude's like, Sorry for spamming, sorry for spamming, sorry for spamming, sorry for spamming. Hello? Sorry for spamming. Dude! Live be do, do be like that, right? Live do be like that sometimes. It's fine, guys. Let's go back to Bunker Alpha. Sorry for spamming, sorry for spamming. Okay. Yo, Kaden Z, cool. Thanks for the for the super chat. Thank you, mate. Thank you, thank you, thank you for supporting the channel. Thanks, mate. Hard life of a streamer. I know, right? So people think being a streamer is easy. I have to wake up every morning. I have to have breakfast. I have to walk around the house. I have to take a nap. I have to take another breakfast. <sighs> I'm telling you, you tried to have two breakfasts. We'll see. 
Okay, we gotta activate the hard mode bunker. And let's go, let's see if I can get here any aluminum wires. That $7 will get you a four-piece nugget happy meal. I don't buy chicken nuggets when I go to McDonald's. I get the first meal, whatever it's called. The $5 one. The cheapest one. That's all I get. I don't buy chicken nuggets because that's robbery. The chicken nuggets at McDonald's are, is robbery. They're like, what, five bo four bucks or a dollar per chicken nugget? Do you think I'm stupid? Do you think I'm made out of money? But yeah, but the first meal, the first chicken something, whatever meal it's called, I don't know, it's pretty good. Not the Mac chicken. Mac chicken is also a robbery. And it's not even that good. It has no sauce in it. Uh, let's activate the hard mode and let's go. Just buns for five bucks? <laughs> what do you mean? Just buns. Well, it's not five bucks. It depends from the McDonald's, from city to city, from place to place. Like, it's it's probably not five dollars. Actually, uh, Burger King's becoming my favorite fast food restaurant, probably. Fast food restaurant? Fast food place. I don't know. Well, from Burger King, you can get for five bucks basically everywhere. Like, that chicken the sandwich, right? But in McDonald's, the chicken sandwich but Kyrex, costs will you grind settlement? 570, 620, depends. Cold sweat smile, pinched fingers. And DA, thanks for the super chat, but psych, will you grind the settlement? We need the answers. God damn it! I will not grind the settlement. I refuse to answer that question. Will I grind the settlement? <laughs> like this was, this was one of the more annoying questions for weeks. It's like, do you grind the settlement? It's like, why don't you grind the settlement? Literally grinding motel to get screws to get to progress in the settlement. Sayak, why are you why aren't you grinding the settlement? Unbelievable. McDonald's is the opposite of a doctor appointment. I don't understand. Because it's super unhealthy. I mean, it depends. I don't really eat like at McDonald's all the time, right? But I mean, if I'm outside, right? Let's say I spend all the day outside. I go somewhere. Right? You might be like, oh my god, it's like you don't go anywhere. Ah, you never touch grass. But like when sometimes I go touch grass. Like, what are you going to eat outside? Just a genuine question. You're going to pack sandwiches with you? Like, I don't know. Oh my goodness. The grass. <laughs> if you go outside, you eat the grass. Picnic sounds good to me. I mean, you can't always have a picnic, right? Promoting unhealthy food. Guys, I'm not promoting anything. Stop it. Why just touch grass when you can eat it too? Geniuses. Floppy crate today? I highly doubt that. Wait, why am I on the fourth floor when I need to kill the blind one? Guys, why am I here? Why nobody stopped me? I don't have to be here. I'm literally looting this place for no reason at all. We just have to kill the blind one. I am not supposed to be here. I'm not supposed to be here. Go, no, Caden! Z2 cool. Use brutalizer. Thanks, mate, for the super chat. Thank you, thank you. I mean, you're j then just in time. I'll go there and I'll get that Brutalizer. Thanks for the generous super chat. I'll go get the Brutalizer. Just for you, Caden. Actually, didn't want to get that Brutalizer as... But yeah, I'll go get it. I'll go get it, mate. I can sprinkle some grass on this raw fish. What? So yeah, I don't usually go, guys, to McDonald's. But when I'm outside... When I'm out of the city. Like, what am I gonna eat? Bean 
beans. <laughs> I'll, buy, I'll bring a can of beans with me. <laughs> I'll bring a can of beans, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. A normal diet, a can of beans. A bottle of water and a can of beans. Use brutalizer. So yeah, Caden Z to cool. Thanks for the super chat, mate. Thank you, thank you, thank you for supporting the the stream. We'll go get the brutalizer. 99 waves with the brutalizer, triple question mark. We'll have to do it during the one of the next live streams. Because today it won't last. The brutalizer won't survive that. You should grow a pot of grass for the cats to nibble. Actually, cats like grass. Believe it or not, cats eat flowers. They eat everything. I have two cats at home. And they all the time eat everything. They eat trees, they eat all plants. I mean, you always don't let them, right? You have to fight. There we go. Let's get that brutalizer. But they don't care. They still eat those plants. It do be like that. A uh, chance to find rare items increased. Okay. There we go. I got the brutalizer. Thanks, mate, for the super chat. And let's go. Let's kill the blind one with the brutalizer. I've never done that. I've never killed a blind one with the brutalizer. Your cats eat grass because you didn't feed them. <laughs> They eat more than me! That's it. The cats eat more than me. I mean, if you have cats at home, guys. To those people that have cats at home, and if you have plants, they will eat those plants. Obviously, if I have a cactus, I don't think they'll eat a cactus. I think I've seen a meme once of a cat trying to eat a cactus, but yeah. If you have plants, they'll go for those plants. I'm sure we have some cat people in the chat and they can confirm that. Right? To prove that I'm not crazy. Let's go to the third floor. <laughs> Beans and bear juice. Normal European diet. I've never heard of a diet like that before. But I am all in for it. So what you're eating today? I don't know. Can of beans. And a bag of juice. A bag of juice? I never really thought about it. You can buy uh, bags of milk. Right? But you can't buy bags of juice. That's it. That'll be my new business idea here. Selling bags of milk. Uh, bags of juice. We just need like a nice funny name to it. Like like bag juice, something like that. Juicy bags. Juicy bags, hey. Wait, Capri Suns or whatever they're called. I've never had a Capri Sun in my life. Oh my god, sorry, how can you blah blah? Well, I never had a Capri Sun. That's it. Forget about it. I never had one, but Capri Suns are in a bag, right? Kinda. Capri Suns are in kind of bags. So already somebody took that idea. But I just mean no straws, nothing. Just a normal bag of juice. Doesn't even have to be a good one. Just diluted with water. Genius. An absolute genius. This idea will bring me billions. I saw someone eating a bag of noodles on Reddit yesterday. Very strange. Eating a bag of noodles. What's wrong with that? Okay, let's fight the blind one. 
Never fought him with this brutalizer, but there's always a first time, right? There's always the first time. Let's go for it. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? Yulin seems worried after this idea. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if he has already his engineers working on uh, that bag of juice idea. Get a P.O. box so I can send you 3,000 uh, Capri Suns. Stop it. What am I going to do with those 3,000 Capri Suns? They'll spoil. But thank you for the... For the, for the thought. It's the thought that counts. Thank you. Like, do you love Marvel Avengers? I absolutely love them. My favorite movies. I have my walls plastered with that green guy. The the one that yelled, like, get out of my swamp. With the donkey friend. They're my favorite. Okay, let's heal up real quick. Oh no, oh no. Almost died there. Okay, let's activate this. Blind one's sense of smell is heightened and he's offended. I don't understand why. Oh, because I'm stinky. I get it. It's fine. Oh, and a few more attacks, baby. A few more attacks. Any news regarding Forlorn's second stage? Have I just missed something? No, no, no. We still don't know anything about the second stage of Forlorn. So we don't know anything. Can you play Project Zomboid again? Perhaps one day. Perhaps one day there will be more Project Zomboid. We can't promise anything as we never know. We never know. Get out of my swamp, LMAO Classic Hulk saying. Exactly. Exactly. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Shrek Spock Avenger. <laughs> Let's get out of here, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. Let's go for the raid. Wait, we have dealt with the blind one. We have dealt with other stuff. We just need to go and deal with the colonel now at the abandoned factory. So let's go for it. What do the sirens do? They stop him from eating. If you don't activate those sirens, the dude will keep eating. The dude will just keep eating Have you heard of a game called League of Legends? Yes, I've heard of it. Never played it. Probably never will. But thanks for the suggestion. However, Oh no, I've forgotten to give these hard mode items. However, I've played some CS:GO. It's not the same game. But yeah, thoughts on CS2? I have seen some videos on it. It looks very weird, but again, what can I say about it? I've never, I haven't played it, so I don't know. For some reason, a lot of people are saying how great it is, but I'll be completely honest. From like an outsider that didn't spend lots of time watching CS2, it looks like a downgrade from CSGO. That's what I'll say. Graphics look like it's a downgrade, but again, I haven't played it. I've spent literally like one minute learning about CS2, so I don't know, but it looks like a downgrade to me. So I am probably wrong, and I don't know what I'm talking about. But I'm just saying. Oh, we actually got a floppy crate. Didn't know that we'll get one, but we actually did. So let's open that stuff up. And DA, thanks for being a member for 10 months. Uh, can we all take a second to acknowledge Cyrix's bloody lovely shirt? Thanks, DA. It is a great shirt indeed. I've had it. For how long, guys, do you wear your shirts? Like, I've had this shirt for at least 10 years now. I'm 26. I've had this shirt probably when I was 16, maybe even 15. So this shirt is at, li at least 15 years old. And uh, it's still bloody amazing. It had holes here. Here, see? It's black. It has black threads here. Because it was... It had a hole there. And I sewed it. I patched it up. And same thing here. See, it has black threads. I don't have white threads, so I just thought, you know what? I'll just use black threads. It's fine. Nobody sees there anyways. So yeah, this shirt is almost as old as me. 
but it's still amazing. Thank you guys. Thank you for giving compliments about this shirt. The shirt has been through war. It's definitely seen better days. I'll keep it until it completely disintegrates. I want to see your reaction when you get surrounded by zombies in Project Zomboid. I'll be like, oh my god, no, I'm dead! That'll be my reaction. Let's start all over again, guys. And there we go, new game, and we'll start playing... ...again. Alright, let's go back uh, home. Why do I have four events here? Doesn't matter. Factory. Yeah, we also gotta go to the factory. I've forgotten about it. We gotta go to the factory. We gotta go to the factory. We gotta go to the factory. And we also got to take a shower. So yeah, we will go there. I don't know what buttons. I'll just click there. This, uh... Let's take a shower. Shower, shower, shower. And then we need new armor, and then we can go for the raid, and then we need to open up the floppy crate. Today will be a longer live stream than usual, guys. That's cool, I guess. Let's buckle up. Because usually I try to go for a two-hour live stream, but today will be a bit longer than two-hour live stream. Because we still need to do a raid, and we need to open up the floppy crate. So, hell yeah! Psych, please help me, says Zab Z Zip Zap. And I'm not making it up, the guy used the voice in the chat there. Here. Here. The guy says, Psych, please help me! So I'm not making it up. That's what the guy said here. So before somebody says, Psych, you're making fun of people. I'm not. Like, th literally, I just gave you proof. So... Yeah. Psych, please help me. On which level and with what guns should I clear the laboratory? Oh, boy. I'm level 110 and I want to complete the drone, so I need chips. You probably meant tips, but chips are good as well. I want chips, though. By the way, your videos are great. Greetings from Slovakia. Thanks, mate. Uh, thanks for watching. And uh, with which guns you should clear the laboratory. I mean, whatever guns you have there. There are no special guns. You just use whatever guns you have laying around and that's it. That's how you clear the laboratory. Try to wall trick as many zombies as possible. I assume you already know how to wall trick. So you just wall trick as many zombies as you can. And use whatever guns to deal with the zombies at the laboratory. Basic locks, AKs, whatever. And just clear A1 and A2 floor to get those controllers. And that's it. Don't clear B1 and B2 if you don't have lots of weapons. Which at level 110 you probably don't have lots of guns because... Yeah, clearing B1 and B2 floor will be probably waste of guns anyway. So just clear A1 and A2 floors with whatever, with whatever you have. And that's it. Because those are all tips and tricks that I know. That's it. Let's deal now with the kernel and then we need to open up the floppy crate. Let's go. I wish there was a triple A game in style of Last on Earth. It's one of the best concepts concept for me. Could be a first person shooter or a third person as well, just with base building apocalypse. I really don't understand the, the question. What do you mean like last day on earth, but triple A? Like it's I don't I don't get it. I really don't understand. With base building. Last day on earth game with base building. You're talking about Minecraft? Are you talking Minecraft? And, uh, yeah, I mean, there's Rust, right? You can play Rust. It's probably not triple A, but you get the point. There's Rust. Mm. 
Days Gone. But yeah, you don't have base building in Days Gone. There is day. There is. I don't even know what else there is. Like survival games with base building. Like a lot of games have base building. What's triple A psych? It's a battery. It's a type of battery. I am absolutely hilarious, guys. You know it. It's like, why don't you use the self-healing skill? Because it takes forever to load up and I'd rather use... Wait, does the self-healing go in auto or... Yeah, it goes in auto and I'd rather use auto. Auto is more useful for me than the self-healing. Oh, that's it. We got the guy. That's it. We are done clearing this place. There's one chest here that we can open up, so let's probably open it up. There we go. We got that. But it would be cool. We don't really have, like, a third or first-person PC game like Last in its file where you have to clear the same location all the time. With locations on cooldown, it it would be kind of fun. I'd honestly like that. Maybe. Right? Would that make any sense? Maybe. Maybe that'd be cool, like driving an actual car from your base to Bunker Alpha. What would I know? We can play scum, there are also bunkers. Yeah, I mean, you can actually play scum survival, true. I mean, the closest game to probably last at Earth survival style and with base building would be scum survival. I mean, it's a completely different game than scum survival. It's a completely different genre from last at Earth scum survival. You got the point. But it does have all the aspects to it. You can loot bunkers there. You can do everything. Like, yeah, la scum survival. There's also Daisy. But yeah, that might be a bit biased. I'd prefer scum survival to Daisy. So, we still need to go to the floppy crate. It didn't go there yet. God dang us! We gotta go to the floppy crate. Wait, is there anything else we need to do? I think we need to craft, like, stack of iron plates and stack of first aid kits. Seven Days to Die is the first person last night. Well, it's a bit different one, but yeah, Seven Days to Die is also a fun game. It's also a great, a great game. Will you try Daisy? I have made a few videos on Daisy. Maybe State of Decay. State of Decay 2 is something like that, yeah. State of Decay. Which again, like, they're survival games. It doesn't mean that they are similar to Last Day on Earth. It's just a survival game. There are lots of survival games. Let's open up this floppy crate, ladies and gents. Ladies and gentlemen, let's- Oh no, it's an infected one! Oh lord. Unbelievable. We need Minesweeper in first person. I'm sure that one exists, to be honest. I'm sure Minesweeper in first person already exists. That is kind of embarrassing. Like, I still don't know how to play Minesweeper. I said it already once or twice during a live stream. I still don't know how to play Minesweeper. And speaking of embarrassing things, let's continue the theme. Have you guys done anything embarrassing? Like, probably the most... Embar... Maybe not the most embarrassing things, but... When I was, I don't know, maybe 10? Maybe 8 years old? I tried to download Bluetooth. Right? You know how now you can download RAM? How people try to download RAM? I try to download Bluetooth. Well, at that time, again, 
there were no Android phones. There was just a basic phone. The internet wasn't even a thing. There was just a basic phone with buttons, and I have no idea why. I thought I can download Bluetooth. Some people had Bluetooth at school, and I wanted it as well. So I thought I can download it. Then there was like an infrared port. I think that phone didn't even have an infrared port. So at first I tried to download an infrared port. Okay, I couldn't do it. Then I thought, hey, an infrared port needs like some uh, hardware. Maybe Bluetooth doesn't need hardware. So I'd like, hey, I'll download Bluetooth. Good old times, right? So you can download RAM? Where? I mean, I don't know. But yeah, you can download a new CPU, a new RAM. Um, um, let's drop the healing items, whatever else I dropped there. Copper grenades. Mm, copper, copper, copper. I have no idea why I'm stuck. I don't remember where I keep copper. I had a pager, says Lila. I kind of know what is a pager, but I have never had a pager. No, they started spawning at the base. No, unbelievable. I need to sort out this crate faster because I think it can disappear if, I, if it stays on the ground for too long. I kind of have forgotten about it. So yeah, some of the phones, maybe Android phones, were already... Maybe already existed, but yeah. I don't know, but... No, they did not exist at the time. I'm sure they didn't exist. But yeah, I didn't have a pager. My first ever phone that I had... ...was Siemens. C55. I don't even know if it's pronounced like that, but you got the point. Um, where can I drop it? There we go. Let's get this and finally let's pick up this box. And let's bring it over here. So guys, if you keep the box at the base, zombies will start spawning, so... There's that, and then it will disappear. If you keep that box for too long, it will disappear. It does happen. I got a new PC. Which survival base would you recommend? I mean, Scum Survival is cool. There's a lot you can do. You can play it in single player. You can play it in multiplayer. You can also play Days Gone. There are lots of games. Just go on the YouTube channel. Go to playlists. And there are lots of games that are played. Most of them are survival games. So just pick one that you like. I guess. And you can check it out yourself. On your new computer, maybe. Uh, I'm thinking again, my brain is pulsating. Acid. I came here for acid, ladies and gentlemen. Wait, the box disappears? Yes, I think if you drop it at the base and you leave the game for a while, I don't know for in how long it disappears, but maybe after an hour, maybe after half an hour, but it does disappear. So yeah, let's drop some acid. <laughs> Would be cool if it made noises. Like seriously, developers need to add noises where it does like That'd be great. And we've gotten two C force and a Python. Hell yeah. Exactly what the doctor ordered. It's like 10 to 15 minutes. Some people say 30 minutes. Oh, 10 aluminum wires, the best crate ever. Bruh. Bruh. That's a great crate. That is a great crate, mate. Took me a while to see it, even. Took me a while. OK, 
Okay, let's drop the first aid kits. He deleted the SWAT armor. Guys, it was just a... A jacket or whatever that was. So stop it. So stop it. Look at this. We've gotten 41 aluminum wires today. Absolutely lovely, isn't it? Oh my goodness. I can't find... Why do I have to suffer? What does it have to be so hard to sort out this inventory? Is your warehouse full? I mean, it has loot in it. Have you done the hub today? Yes, I've done the hub today. <laughs> the hub. <laughs> Okay, so we need this. Boom. Done. Let's craft stack of first aid kits and let's go for the raid. Let's go. Buckaroos. Are you ready? Let me know. In the comments down below. Also, let me know. What is your favorite color? Let's go. I'm kidding. It's like my favorite color is pepper blue. What's pepper blue even? Is that even a real co a real color? Did you grind the settlement yet, says DA? Stop it. Light maroon. Maroon? Is it maroon or maroon? Oh my goodness. That's my day. I check 66 words every day how to pronounce them. Because I'm never sure. Maroon. I'm sure it's maroon. Maroon. Yeah, I'm pronouncing it properly. I don't even know what color that would be, but... Swamp green. The flip is swamp green. The most stupid color is baby blue, though. I, I just don't like the way it sounds. Baby blue. It's like, it's my favorite. Okay. I love that color. The best color ever. Raids have been goop in the last months. Do you agree, Sarg? They've always been goop. Goose egg blue is better. What's a goose egg blue? Carrot orange. A cherry red. Is there a navy blue, navy green, navy red? Is there a navy red color? Maybe. In any case, let's get ready for the rain and let's stop talking about colors here. <laughs> Ravishing purple. Guys, stop it. Should be naming the new uh, iPhone color schemes here with these kind of names. Space Gray. Or whatever else they name them. Navy doesn't use red. Well, then why there is Navy red? Explain to me that, science. It's like, what bunker video do you recommend? Just type Psych Bunker Alpha. There will be a bunch of videos. From probably three, four years ago to the most current ones. Also, make sure to check out my free-to-play playlist. Link is down in the description. In those playlists, I also clear Bunker Alpha. Air Force Red. Is there an Air Force Red? <laughs> Brain Yellow. I don't even know what color is maroon. If you guys keep using the word maroon, I'll just go and Google it and I'll see what color is that maroon. It's probably like, it's it's red. It's literally red color. What do you mean maroon? Maroon is a brownish crimson color that takes its name from the French word. 
Okay. It doesn't look like that. Maroon is literally red. It's not brown at all. I just feel like I got educated. Red velvet. Guys, stop it. Do you grind the settlement in toast playlist? Says DA. Uh, perhaps. Will you be going for drone or settlement in free to play? I doubt it. Again, depends. Right? It all depends. If we keep getting more updates, then maybe I'll grind more in the settlement. Like, the point is, it's not worth it for me to put any time in the free-to-play as... There's only a limited amount of Last Earth videos that I'm making. I'm not gonna make three Last Earth videos a day as... This game doesn't receive enough updates. So I can't commit to it like before. As before, we used to get an update once a month. Now we are getting update once in half a year, so I'm not gonna upload three Last Earth videos a day. I'd rather check out other games, and once in a while we play Last on Earth. Well, once in a while, every other day. So there are still at least 50 in Last on Earth videos a month. Which is still a lot. In any case, let's go for the raid, ladies and gentlemen. The first raid of the day. So all that to say that probably no, I'm not gonna grind for that thing in the settlement. If in the free-to-play account. Sergio Davids. LDE raid Sergio Davids. Sergio Davids. Bruh. My favorite raids. Sergio Davids. Is it a good raid, Sergio Davids? But yeah, we could probably grind for the... For the thing, whatever it's called. Like, now being a free-to-play player is much more interesting, and the new free-to-play series uh, would be more fun, because we need to unlock the transport hub. And to unlock the transport hub, we'd have to do the laboratory, which... We'd require to cr grind some bunker alpha, so there's a lot more content right now. Like... Now laboratory makes sense to clear. So there would be more content. But do we really need more content? The answer is probably no. Like, I mean, on the channel here, more last than earth content. There's enough content on the on this main account. But yeah, we'll see. We never know. The point is getting that laboratory thing and to unlock the transport hub in the free-to-play account. It'll take us forever. So I'd have to play in my free-to-play uh, during live streams, as there's no way I'd get... The transport hub uh, only doing videos. Okay, we've already gotten three guns. You know what? The base looked worse. Let's get the thick fabric. Some leather. I'll get more of that. Why not? Go on, give me some aluminum wires. Nothing. No aluminum wires. No. The wrong hit. Again, here, maybe at least we'd have a stack of uh, aluminum wires, but no. Disappointment is immeasurable. My day's been ruined, ladies and gentlemen. Literally. There's nothing here I can take with me. Absolutely nothing. Okay. Lab without agility. I mean, it is doable. It would take more first aid kits. And again, if we only clear the A1 and A2 sectors, it's a lot easier as B1 and B2 sectors are a lot harder. 
a lot, a lot harder. So yeah, there's that. I'll open up the door, the wall, whatever that is. And nothing here. So does this base get Sykes approval? We've gotten three guns. It does not get Sykes approval. It's like one out of 10. It's pretty good. Three guns isn't really enough. Three guns only. Maybe 1.5 out of 10. Maybe at best. But yeah, I wouldn't give it Sykes approval as we didn't get anything else. If we had gotten maybe extra five stacks of carrots. That'd be something. It's a pretty sad base. It is a pretty sad base. 1.2 out of 10. Maybe you're right. A stack of air. Yeah, that's what we've gotten, guys. We've gotten a stack of air. A stack of air! Doesn't even sound that bad. Why did they bring 2C Force with me to that raid? So many questions and yet no answers. A good base, absolutely. Absolutely, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, let's drop some of these weapons here. Goop out of 10, raid. Absolutely. Okay, guys, I think I have to be wrapping up the live stream kind of soon as it's 7.20. The shop closes at 8 and I need toothpaste. I might be like, psych, that's random. It is random. I don't have toothpaste anymore. I mean, I still have a little bit. But that might not be enough for tomorrow morning and I'm not going to go to the shop in the morning. So let's pay the raiders real quick. I wanted to do some GeoGuessr. I wanted to do GeoGuessr, guys, but I really need to go to the store while it's still open. Uh, okay, let's call them. Let's call them on the radio, boomers. And let's go. Stop it, get the toothpaste tomorrow. Guys, I need the toothpaste today. You said I'm lazy to go to the store. Guys, it should be the one encouraging me to go to the store. I need to go there. Okay, we have some other raids to do. And, uh... Yeah, guys. So, yeah, we will be wrapping it up. Thanks, everybody, for joining. See you tomorrow with another video. Might be Scum Survival. Might be They Are. Might be 60 Seconds Reatomized. Because, yes, indeed, we have some videos. So, we'll see what's going to come out, guys. Be a man use baking soda. I actually use baking soda once to brush my teeth. Rest in peace, my gums. They were bleeding. That's all I'll say. So, yeah, using baking soda to brush your teeth isn't very healthy. And I'd like to say that I used baking soda when I was, I know a kid, but I used baking soda when I was like maybe 18, maybe, maybe 17. So I was pretty stupid at that time. Well, but now I know don't use baking soda to brush your teeth. So take care, ladies and gentlemen. See you later. Alligator. Use apple for teeth. I'll use chocolate guys. So, take care, ladies and gentlemen. See you later, everybody. Take care. Peace out, everybody. What kind of a primitive shop closes at 8 p.m.? Here in France, everything. And also on Sundays, they don't work. I mean, some shops here last till 9 p.m., but... It's... It's crazy. Everything here closes basically at 8. And on Sundays, nothing works. Even on Saturdays. I think on Saturdays they work, but on Sundays, nothing works. It is crazy. Life here is absolutely crazy, I'm telling you. So, yeah, that's it. See you later. And I'm gonna go buy some toothpaste right now. Take care, ladies and gents. Take care, take care. It's already 725.